Hello my lovely Trails in the Sky fans! Alrighty, welcome back to our next episode today and you will not believe how much trouble I have gone through just to get this episode out today. Uh, so this is probably the fourth time I've recorded this uh, because either the sound wasn't working or I had forgot to hit the record key. So anyway, uh, so we've gone and fought another one of those shiny palms. So Joshua's level 13 now and has unlocked a new ability called Flicker. And Sherazard, I have gone and created another cast one in the Augment Factory. Um, and this is the setup I have for her, because uh, her lightning ability is going to be super useful for one of the fights that we're going to be coming up to next. So I'm going to head over to Mistwald Forest for the fourth time, uh, which you didn't see the, the other three attempts that I tr tried to do. I uh, had to reset it so I could get the... Uh, the recording of the scenes on here for you. So let's go ahead and head right back here again. Um, you'd think I would know how to get here by now. Yeah, let's just run from those. They're not even worth the fight. So this is Miss Walt, huh? Can you tell us anything, Sharon? Someone came through here all right. From what I can see, a number of people passed through here not long ago. I'd wager Mira were on the right track. How can you be so sure? Because tracking fugitives is an essential skill for braces. Anyway, let's check the woods. Be sure to keep your voices low. Roger that. Understood. And I for sure know the way this time, while avoiding these enemies. So we head this way, over here. Whoa. Hello. And then it's the east path at the logs over here. Uh, the more people you have in the party, the easier it is to get caught up in these fights. Okay, and we're going to save it here again. You'll see my other save file from, from last time. Uh, okay, yeah, we're good to go. Sound is on, you guys can hear me. Let's head on in. Haha, <laughs> that was too easy. And to think that something as exquisite as this fell into my hands with almost no effort. Wait till Don and Kyle hear about this. You surprised me, that's for sure. The way you pulled off that act wearing that school uniform was simply outstanding. Just what you'd expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic family. Yeah, yeah, but what's in the past is in the past. But it certainly doesn't hurt that in this outfit I could deceive almost anyone. That gullible mayor and dim-witted bracer girl. Idiots, the whole lot of them. Well, that's just rude. What was that? Calm down, let's see what else they have to say. F fine, but I'm not happy about this. Yeah, but that girl seemed pretty tough. I mean, she took care of all the monsters that appeared in the mine. The mine? Oh, so you're the one who screwed up their job. If you had just done it like you were supposed to, I wouldn't have had to put on a monkey show to get this thing. My apologies. Ah, forget about it. All's well that ends well. At any rate, those two kids being braces was an absolute joke. Especially that brainless bimbo, she honestly believed that we could be friends. What a freaking moron, I had to try so hard just to keep from laughing. <laughs> how stupid can she be, it's just so absurd. Now that is rich. What's so funny? Uh, it, it's you guys. Yep, it's the brainless bimbo and her absolute joke of a bracer partner. And this probably won't come as a surprise, but we're going to beat you up now. What? Bracers? How did they find... You did a fine job stealing that septum from the mayor's residence, but... It looks like you were a little careless in the end. In accordance with the laws of the bracer guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with breaking and entering vandalism and burglary. It would be in your best interest not to resist, but I'm sure Estelle is hoping you will. This doesn't look good. But what are we going to do now, Giuseppe? 
How about you quit quaking in your boots for starters? These braces are nothing more than a ragtag group of kids. I think it's time we showed them the real strength of the Capua family. Who are you to be calling us kids, you, you brat? I've had it up to here and I'm going to do something about it right now. Hey, that's my line. Alright boys, get him. Roger that, my pleasure, understood. Alrighty, let's see... So he has his new ability there, but I didn't actually fight anything on the way here. Um, so would that actually be useful? Probably not, so I'm just going to go ahead and get him stuck right in. to interrupt that casting. I think she probably is. I think that would probably be a good area to cast it. Oh man. Oh well, at least I still managed to hit two of them. Smooth sailing now. Well, if she keeps doing that. Um... Go see if that will defeat her. Before she can heal. Almost. Uh, what are your cracks? Okay, don't miss. Oh, Actually, that works out. Perfect. Oh, nice. There's a rare chance to get that. And we got it. How in the world? You had enough yet? That's what you get for taking braces lightly. And we'll be taking this back if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Recovered Septium Crystal. Hey, that Septium belongs to me. No, not to you, to the people of Roland, that's who. The sheer nerve you have to say something like that is astounding. Now that we've got the crystal back, how about we move on to confession time? That's an interesting name you mentioned. The Capua family, was it? Me and my big mouth. I have absolutely no idea what you are talking about. So you want to be a tough egg to crack, do you? I don't mind at all. In fact, I like them that way. Ah! But what are you trying to do? That's a dangerous thing to be swinging around like that. Well, if you can't answer with your mouth, then maybe your body can answer instead. But don't worry, I'll be extra gentle. Uh, get away from me, you crazy witch! I think Cher is enjoying this. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Look out, Cher! An orb of them? Are you alright, Cher? I'm fine, forget about me. Look at that. Oh, 
big airship. An airship? Haha, <laughs> looks like the tables are turned in our favour now, aren't they? Are you okay, Giuseppe? Kyle, you're late. Where have you been? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up and give us a hand. No can do. Our push into the Roland region has been put on hold. Something big came up in the Bose region while you were away. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have time to explain. Hurry and hop on, or I'll have to leave you behind. Crud. Just where do you think you're going? We'll pick this up another day, and don't think you've won either. Payback's gonna be a beast. Sure wasn't expecting anything like that to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> it looks like they caught us all off guard. This isn't a laughing matter. Right now I'm so frustrated I don't even know what to think. Well, on the bright side, we did get the Septim Crystal back. Switching gears, that group sure looked to me like a bunch of Sky Bandits. Yes, they certainly seem of that variety. It also sounds like they've made the Bose region their base of operations as well. I certainly wouldn't have expected a group like that to travel all the way to a rural place like Roland. I couldn't care less if they're Sky Bandits or Brigands. The next time I see that scruffy line jerk of a tomboy, I'm going to thwack bam kapow her. What's thwack bam kapow supposed to mean? Thus, the septium crystal stolen from the mayor's residence was safely recovered. After returning it to the mayor, Estelle and the others returned to the guild to report the details of the incident. Looks like you've had a rough day. Who'd have thought the Sky Bandits would appear? I don't blame you for letting them escape. No, this time it was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'm really far from being in the same league as Cassius. It's not your fault, Shera. I let my emotions get the best of me, and... I was careless as well. No, you guys did a great job. Your on-site investigation of the Mayor's residence was flawless, too. Don't you think you should recommend them, Aina? Yes, I was thinking the same thing as well. Recommend? What do you mean? Hold your horses, first comes the payment for a job well done. Sweet! This is for you both, and take this as well. That this is... As of now, you are both junior braces, in other words, braces in training. In order to become senior braces, you will need to receive recommendations from all regional branches in the kingdom. This is your recommendation from the Roland branch. Is it really okay for us to have this? I had heard that in order to become a full-fledged bracer, we'd need to achieve something fairly noteworthy. I think in light of the jobs performed in your father's stead and your great showing here, your achievements are sufficient. However, these achievements are only for your work here in Roland. You'll need to receive recommendations from the other regional branches after achieving success there as well. Bose, Ruan, Zeiss, and finally, Grandcell. You've still got a long road ahead of you. Even so, I'm really happy. It was worth all the hard work. Now that we've come this far, don't you think we should visit the other regions too, Joshua? I figured you'd say as much. I agree with you, but we can't decide this all by ourselves. We should discuss it with Dad when he gets home. Right. Oh. That's the telephone, right? Hello, this is the Bracer Guild's Roland branch in the LaBelle Kingdom. Ah, it's been a while since we last talked, hasn't it? I see. Are you sure? That's terrible. I wonder if something happened. It looks that way to me. Yes, that's right. He left on business the other day. What? I apologise, but this is a little difficult to believe. Understood. I'll pass on the news to his family. They'll be fine. They're braces too. Yes, and if you hear anything else, please let me know. What's wrong, Aina? It's unusual for you to be so surprised like that. Who was calling? The Bowers branch. Something terrible has happened. 
The airliner Linda was has disappeared over the Bose region. What? How is that possible? I don't know any of the details, but the Royal Army is currently conducting a wide-scale search. Due to this event, all other flights have been postponed. But that explains the backup at the landing port. And... Aina? Estelle, Joshua, please brace yourselves. Ah, it's a pun. Your father, Cassius, was aboard the airliner which went missing. What? Impossible! There's got to be some kind of mistake. It seems his name was on the passenger list. Labelle Bracer Guild, Roland Branch, Senior Bracer, Cassius Bright, 45. And that is the end of the prologue. I'm going to go ahead and do a save there for the end of the prologue. prologue. So I think this is going to be a shorter episode, but it's kind of a good place to end it here for today. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. And I will see you on the next one when we begin the first chapter. Bye bye for now.